Sex magic is a term for various types of sexual activity used for magical, ritual, or otherwise religious or spiritual purposes found within Western esotericism, which is a broad spectrum of spiritual traditions found in Western society or refers to the collection of the mystical esoteric knowledge of the Western world. One practice of sex magic is using the energy of sexual arousal or orgasm with visualization of a desired result and to get you what you most desire. The earliest known practical teachings of sex magic in the Western world come from 19th century American occultist Paschal Beverly Randolph under the heading of The Mysteries of Eulis, from which I shall now quote, If a man has an intelligent and loving wife with whom he is in complete accord, he can work out the problems of how to achieve magical results by her aid. They are a radical, soul-sexive series of energies. The rite is a prayer in all cases and the most powerful that earthly beings can possibly employ. It is best for both man and wife to act together for the attainment of the mysterious objects sought for it requires a double crisis to succeed." Unquote. Born in Philadelphia in 1857, Ida Craddock became the first woman to apply for admission to the University of Pennsylvania. However, a month following her admission, the board decided to prohibit the admission of women and she was kicked out. Craddock was inspired by Hindu philosophy and cites the Shiva Samhita and its account of Ajroli Mudra, a yogic practice concentrated on ejaculatory control as influential on her thinking. She was at the forefront of the burgeoning yoga movement in America. In 1899, she created the Church of Yoga and appointed herself its high priestess. She published several works dealing with sacred sexuality, among which was The Wedding Night. On October 10, 1899, Craddock was tried and convicted of violation of the Comstock Act. With the judge declaring the wedding night to be so obscene, lewd, lascivious, and dirty that the jurors were not even allowed to see it during the trial. At 45 years of age, Craddock saw her five-year prison sentence as, in effect, a life term. On October 16, 1902, the day before she was to be sent to a federal penitentiary, Craddock died by suicide after slashing her wrists and inhaling natural gas from the oven in her apartment. After her death, Aleister Crowley reviewed Heavenly Bridegrooms in his magazine, The Equinox, calling it one of the most remarkable human documents ever produced. The book is of incalculable value for every student of occult matters. No magic library is complete without it. Coming up this week on Explore Ecstatic Sensuality.